question is to PGD or not to PGD? And it's interesting because uh, nowadays, if you ask uh, couples that are now pregnant, what would they like for the, to wish for the, for the children when it will be born? They always say, we want it to be healthy. So now is the question, can we offer the patient it when they come to IVF? Not just to uh, ask my, my cup, the couples that come to seek my advice, is to say, what can I help you beside having a baby? Is, what can I help you beside having a healthy baby? So when the PGD is pre-implantation genetic diagnosis, it's also, this is when we check for genetic disorders. If we do check for chromosomal abnormalities, some people call it PGD, some people call it PGS, which is pre-implantation genetic screening, or CGS. Uh, at the end of the day is, we can do now genetic testing on an embryo that is day five, five days old, has uh, 60 to 100 cells, and we actually do a very early CVS, like chorionic villi sampling that you do when you're pregnant at uh, 11, 12 weeks. We can look at an embryo that is five days old, and we can do a biopsy from the cells that will develop to placenta, with, in general, uh, no significant damage to the to the group of cells that will develop to the embryo. And we can test those cells. We can freeze this embryo. And now, while we do the genetic testing, we can tell the couples whether, if they have few embryos, which one is normal and for what. So we can have some couples come to IVF because they know that they carry a genetic disorders and they want to have a healthy kid. So this is accepted by everybody. And we do it, we have a lot of experience with uh, this kind of treatment and an excellent success. Now the question is whether couples in fertile couples come for IVF, whether to add genetic testing for chromosomal abnormalities or not. In order to, to do so, we should have to see a benefit. And yes, there is some, some recent studies that suggest that if you do that, you increase the chance to conceive per transfer, you decrease the chance for miscarriage, so at the end of the day, the take-home baby rate, which is actually, this is what the couple wants. They come for, for a baby. They don't come for treatments or, or tests. Um, this is what we can help them to achieve, a healthy baby at the end of the process. <music>